Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here with Christine Karst, who is co-owner of Emma Waterways, and we're here on Emma Viola in Passau, Germany, the next to last stop on our Christmas markets cruise, and that's what we're going to talk about here. What's a Christmas markets cruise? We're going to find all about that with Christine. And this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Christine, here we are in Passau. We actually just got back from a lovely hike up to uh, a church and a monastery, and we're, we're, you know, we're a little casual here. But uh, this is our next to last stop on the cruise. What is a Christmas markets cruise, and why is it so special? It's one of my favorite cruises of the year. So we do Christmas on the Rhine and on the Danube. Now we are on the Danube. We went from Budapest to Wilshofen, uh, actually. This afternoon we finished there, four countries where we visit all the different sites, including Christmas markets. This is always an added uh, excursion, and we celebrate the traditions. So um, we, um, the ship is nicely decorated. Yeah, you can see right here, and it's all of Christmas trees. And yeah. I think we even had a visit from Santa or Saint Nicholas, depending oh, on. Oh, did you put out your shoes the other night? And I forgot. I didn't get my you chocolate. Forgot. I forgot. You didn't get your chocolate. I, didn't get my chocolate. I have one for you, okay, actually. Thank you. You know, because you. I, I get three got instead of two. I must have been very nice on this cruise, uh, right? You, you were. You so, were. Okay. <laughs> so that's one of the great things. You, you are really celebrating Christmas. There's Christmas carols on board, right? So, oh, my God. The, the second night, I would say, was the very best night. Every night was great. But it's about the personalization. And so after a very festive dinner, we had the crew coming to sing the Christmas carols with us. We had our guests decorating our Christmas trees, mm -hmm. right? We had a little pickle hunt there. And then Santa came. And everyone, I didn't see you actually, James, was sitting well, I was on very his bad this lap. year, so I don't think so. Okay, on his lap. And then, of course, everyone got a beautiful present and a traditional Christmas present again from the markets, something handicraft, um, something typical to take home. And because the memories is something we look at this and we might then say, now we were on the Danube, maybe next year we go on the Rhine for right. a nice Christmas cruise. Mm -hmm. Well, indeed, uh, the Christmas markets are really stupendous, and, and it, it almost every town in along the river in the Danube so far has had a Christmas market. Uh, Vienna has many Christmas markets, right? right? And, yeah. and and tell, talk a little bit about what those markets offer. So, yeah, and they are very different, these many Christmas markets. Some are a little bit more commercial, maybe. It's it's a lot about the nice food and the bratwurst and the Krapfen. That's basically the German uh, donut, yes, right? Yes, I've, I've become well aware of the German the donuts. Stollen, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, of course. And we bake them on board. We bake all our, you know, cakes and Stollen and patisserie here as well. But then the ones that I love the most are the more medieval Christmas markets, mm. where it's very authentic and you can buy lots of handicrafts mm -hmm. and um, some private vendors um, they do a lot of things uh, on their own and that's so unique you do not find this in the US so that's what I saw our guests a lot taking home these small presents boutique presents um, because they really they create these memories and and then of course they give it to their loved ones um, but I would say every Christmas market in every town is special and Vienna is actually the first one starting already in the middle of November. Right. And Prague, where our group is going afterwards, will close as one of the last Christmas markets in early January. Yeah, no, and I, the Vienna market was astounding. It was a huge market, but almost every town had something unique, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Now, when, when did you, because I don't remember this being a season, when did somebody figure out this was a pretty good thing for river cruising? Well, I would say Rudy was one of the first ones That's too. Rudy right? Schreiner, yeah, your Rudy husband. Rudy Schreiner and, and our president, yeah. right? Um, <coughs> traditional November, December is low season on the river because we are getting into late fall and winter. It's becoming a little bit more chilly. So for the German cruise lines and the Dutch ones, they usually cruise between May and October, the main season, mm -hmm. and then many of the ships are tied up. We actually found that this season offers so much more. Yes, you might not be able to sit outside on the sun deck. Even so in Budapest, we had the thick blankets when we were having the night cruise in front of the parliament, some glühwein right. that keeps you going too. Um, but again, we do all our regular show excursions, plus come all the Christmas markets. We serve the hot mullet wine on board the punch. We have so many 
Christmas traditions here on board. The Christmas cookies, I know The that. Christmas cookies as well. Um, but then the goose and the venison. And then we were this evening in Grein. Um, and we went into the castles. And everything is so nicely decorated. And we have families coming together here. And they are blown away because they know... There is no stress. Nobody has to cook, cleaning the dishes, go shopping. They are here together as a family, and it's the experience that counts. And I think we are today in a society where it's not anymore about things, mm. even so we have beautiful things here, right. but it is about the magical experiences that we want to share with each other. And that's a magical time for this. Well, it has been a great cruise, and thank you for introducing me to Christmas markets. We've cruise it's 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 something i've heard about for a long time wasn't quite sure exactly what it was but now i know and uh the season for christmas markets is the season is from about thanksgiving that's yeah. when we start until new year's eve okay. so our last cruises go over new year's eve and that's then pretty much with the season but allow me one thing okay. i saw you once watching our daily morning core and yoga and stretching classes ah, yes. from 7 to 7. Yeah, I was watching. Oh, right. <laughs> so next time you come to participate again because then we do a Christmas yoga. A Christmas we had yoga. champagne yoga, right? right? Yeah, so we have so many different things, but... Um, you had pajama yoga had too, pajama and I said, if you got too. champagne and pajama yoga together, I'd be okay with that. So next time we just have, we wear the Christmas hats and so on and do our little things, and you promise you will be part of it, right? Absolutely, and I want to add one more thing, is that we woke up one morning two nights ago, and it had snowed, and so yeah. it's beautiful snow on the ship. Yeah. Uh, it's a very Christmassy type of year thing to see, and especially here in Austria and Germany. Christine, thank you very much for introducing me to Christmas markets, and hopefully you got a sense of what Christmas markets are all about uh, on Emma Waterways. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report. Thank you very, very much everyone. Bye. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs>